Hey everyone, it's Dawn here. You guys are gonna always think that I'm nuts, but uh, that's what happens when you take a look inside my life. <laughs> so this is the 30 amp plug that uh, was just made for me, but I wanted to do something different, so I had to take it apart. So I took it apart. Uh, Roger, thanks to Roger, he actually told me that this was possible and verbally explained to me how to do it take it all apart I kind of messed it up a little bit but I will make it pretty when I put it back together again I just needed to take it apart so that I could slide um, PVC over it so this was my thought my uh, this is a six gauge does it say on here six gauge so cord uh, I don't know if it says if or if these numbers help you guys any but six gauge SO cord and um is that what it is stranded something and i gotta reroute everything but it goes in there this is on the outside and then so i'm gonna have to reroute everything right but the cord comes to the backyard like this and my rv is back there so before the cord came over here and then I just had I just had to run it straight across and then over there so that means that it's kind of like right in a very open traffic spot where uh, lots of cars drive over uh, my horse steps on it his hooves are sharp I was just right in the middle of everything and all of this is hard packed dirt so I just wanted to protect a little, a little bit so I dug a hole across here and I got a pipe. This was just a pipe that's been sitting on our yard forever. And then there's one inch. So there's one inch PVC pipes that I ran through first. Um, they, they were laying around the yard. So I was just like, throw it on. This is the main one. So the thought is I'm gonna take uh, this, I'm gonna bury it in here not too deep just um it's gonna be just well some some random stuff fell in there so it's not laying as low as it should but it's uh it's gonna sit in about an inch or so from the top and so it's gonna be buried in there that will allow for the cable to go in safely down into this channel Oh, that shows you a little bit better. Yeah, here's here's where it'll be. So it is about an inch and a half, two inches under the ground level. So the core is going to come in here. It's going to be extra protected under here, and then I'm going to fill this all back in. And whoa, what happened? Why do you not want to? Uh, there we go. All back in, and then it's going to continue. Um, it's path but this time it's going to be against the the fence and that way the cable will be protected um and then i had a thought of doing the whole thing like these uh one inch one inch pvc and have it all the way across but um I, it doesn't have to be because it's kind of protected from the fence already and i got lazy those were just pieces i had laying in the yard so i just figured it doesn't hurt to just run them through and if i decide later on that um this was a really great idea and i should continue this then i can always continue on later on but it's right now i'm tired so right now i just have to finish cleaning up this hole again so that this will sit in nice and then cover it back up, reroute the wires. I already uh, routed it and it seems like everything, cause this takes up our, um, a good chunk. This takes up 11 feet of our original length, um, but we had a little bit extra. So I think this is gonna work, but uh, let me finish it up and then we'll see how it goes. I figured I should show you guys that I did put it back together again and it's all good. <laughs> I know it looked scary earlier. Let's see. All right. Come here. Give me a little more cord here. Let's put this in. All right, we're good. There we go. Make sure it's hanging nicely. 
All right, that's much better. All right, continuing on. Yay, I'm all done. Sweating like horrible. So tired. All right, so the cable uh, plugs into the 30 amp plug out front, comes down the backyard, disappears into the ground. Disappears, travels underneath, secure in a large PVC pipe, pops back out over here, goes into a one inch. Um, so that way when the cars drive back and forth, it's not going to hurt the cable, you know? So now it's going to pop back over here, make sure that there's no strain or anything. It's just laying in there nice. Um, there's two sections over there. I think that's nice. This is just kind of a more, uh, I could move the tools in front. I'll, I'll probably do that later. I'll tuck that in behind the tools, but this is more of a high traffic area over here. So they have that protection unprotected, but it's going to be up against, I'm going to tuck it closer up against the wall. It'll be more like this. Oh, this is tucked and hidden away. So if I decide later on, I want to add more PVC. I don't know. Can I take that apart and just route it through there? That'll be so much easier than what I did before. Um, that's a junction where the six gauge uh, goes into a 10 gauge. This is a continues on for the last remaining 25 feet as a as a 10 gauge. Um, it's a hundred feet of six gauge. And then last 25 feet is um, 10 gauge. Then we have my little plug here. This goes direct to the motorhome and it dives down underneath again because this is where I'm gonna have to walk to um, get back and forth. A lot of traffic, so I buried him again under there. Oh, my shadow's in the way. Let me try this way. So I buried him under there and he's going to pop back up over here, which happens to be in the middle of the car, away from the tires, and it's not buried deep or hard, so I just have to yank it up and it'll, it'll come right out when I want to take off. But um, that way it's out of the way. I can still see it. It's visible to remind me. <laughs> and uh, anyways, um, tools of choice for this project. I have... My Okay, the Japanese one of this tool is my favorite. It is a lot more slender and a lot sharper at the end. Oh my gosh, I'm so dirty. And um, I can't find mine, so I'm using this one. Uh, it, it did okay, but I do prefer my little Japanese one better. Um, and then, of course, this to help me scoop out dirt. And the big thing that helped me, because that over there is super hard packed dirt and rocks so I pulled out I was looking for my trencher and I, I guess it died a while the motor on it died a while ago and we don't have it anymore but I have my berserker so this is the berserker it is uh, run on electric power and I have a chisel end and I have a point end um, and it has a case and yeah, it's rusted. It's been left out in the rain. Um, and yeah, it's electric. It's super duper heavy. But what I do is I go down, I go up, 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 down, um, several inches, and then I would lever it. And when I would lever it, then it would pop all of that dirt up. And that's how I did all the way along here. So I'd go down here, lever it, and it literally do like this. And then I come over here, lever it, and then it do like this. And I just kept doing this action all the way across. That broke it up. That broke up all of the hard stuff so that I could just scoop out the rest. And then it wasn't that, um, it wasn't that hard to get that done. Anyways, I shall leave you with the image of my beautiful berserker. You guys know me, I love my tools. <laughs> uh, this guy was a lifesaver because I hate digging. Anyways, uh, thanks for joining me. This was the project for today. Success.
no cables out here and it's protected. Another successful little day and I'm gonna have to get ready to do other things now. Thanks for joining me and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.